is going to be up for grabs is unrestricted free agent Zach Levine, who Colin is still young. He has shown that he can be a prolific scorer. What would be Zach Levine's best fit? Well, Zach Levine, you know, the world is his oyster. Uh, he's going to have a lot of options out there. Uh, you know, Dallas is an intriguing one for me, just seeing him next to Luka Doncic and what's that, what that would look like. Uh, but to me, I think uh, it's the simple answer. It's go back to the Bulls. Uh, this team was doing really, really well earlier in the year before they were just hammered by injuries. Uh, the lineup of Levine, Lonzo Ball, Vucevic, DeMar DeRozan, Alex Caruso had a plus 12.5 net rating. Uh, they were absolutely destroying people, obviously limited minutes because of the injuries. But I think there is certainly enough there for Zach Levine to think, hey, look, I can go back to this team and we can be a cha championship contender, if not next season, maybe the season after that. Add in the fact that obviously the Bulls can pay him more money. Uh, and I think it's kind of a no brainer to go back to Chicago at this point for Zach Levine. Yeah, I co sign everything Colin just said, and I agree with everything he said. But, but I can tell you, and I know Colin knows this too, that there's certainly optimism around the. I think this is the most interesting free agency question, guys, in this free agency class of the guys that we think are going to be available. What's that Zach Levine's going to do? They have some optimism in Portland that you, they can make a run at him. They have some optimism in San Antonio they can make a run at him. They have some optimism in L.A. they can make a run at him. I don't know what they're drinking in L.A., but they do think that they don't have the space. They got rid of Westbrook. Because Zach Levine, uh, and they built, as Colin walked us through, the Bulls built their team, their, their present, which is promising in their future, which is really encouraging around the idea Zach Levine was going to stick around. But at the end of the year, in the last few weeks, some of his comments, some of the things that he said publicly, and as I understand it, some of the things that he said privately, have raised serious concerns in Chicago and again have gotten other folks motivated around the NBA. It's almost like you're, you have a girlfriend and, and you feel like you're in a really good place and, and she's going on a little you know, two-week two vacation. You don't want at the airport and the goodbye for her to say how much she's loved your time together and whatever happens, it's been great and whatever the future holds, you've always had these memories. And that's what, in effect, Zach Levine has been saying about his time in Chicago. I'm with Colin. He should stay with the Bulls. I'd like to see him in Chicago. But it sounds like he's going to test the market. He's open to the idea of going somewhere else. And like Colin said, of all those options, I think Dallas is the realist one. I think as a player to play with Luka Doncic would be exhilarating and I think in terms of the ceiling that you can create, you're not going to recreate what you have the opportunity in Chicago. I think Dallas if he wants to leave is really fascinating. And Dallas so close to breaking through this season close to the NBA Finals. They've got the superstar Luka Doncic. That would make Dallas even more intriguing as they look for another superstar to put alongside Luka because Kristaps Porzingis did not work out. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.